Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the K-1 visa, and we're specifically discussing someone that makes many of both our petitioner clients and our beneficiary clients, both our Thai clients and our American clients, and our, our clients of other foreign nationalities, rather nervous with respect to the K-1 visa, and that is the interview. The interview is a daunting prospect for many. They basically go into it, oftentimes I've encountered that they go into it sort of fearing the worst. The interview should not be viewed as something that is, is a scary prospect. That being said, one should be prepared to explain oneself to the interviewing consular officer, in this case, the United States Embassy here in Bangkok, Thailand, or in another embassy, depending on one specific set of circumstances. So the, the thing to keep in mind, in my opinion, with respect to interview is understanding what the function of the interview is. It's not a stump the applicant type of thing, although certain types of things called a Stokes interview, sometimes people take the position that they are, it is kind of a, it's almost sort of gamesmanship trying to stump the person who's being interviewed. But at the end of the day, the policy reasoning for interviews is to ascertain whether or not the relationship is genuine or if there are grounds of inadmissibility at play in that given case. And the thing to keep in mind with respect to the interviews that I've seen over the years here in Thailand, it's been generally my experience, it's almost an exercise in due diligence. The consular officer is ascertaining whether or not the relationship is genuine and whether or not the individual in question has committed some kind of crime in the past, has some kind of illicit or criminal past, or is a person that needs to be deemed inadmissible due to some sort of health and safety reason. They're not there, at least it's been my experience, they're not there to intimidate or embarrass the applicant. That's not their function. Their function is simply to ascertain whether or not this individual is genuinely traveling to the United States for the purposes they're claiming and go from there. In most cases that we see, the other thing that I think people think interview preparation is, and it is definitely not, I often hear people use the term coaching. Can you coach her what to say at the interview? No. That's not the function. The function is to concisely and honestly summarize one's reasons for going to the United States, one's relationship history, and be able to answer relevant questions pertaining to one's own history. It's not a matter of being coached or there's some sort of magic language that needs to be said. And in fact, being dishonest in an interview can result in findings of fraud, material misrepresentation, which can lead to inadmissibility in and of itself. And that's really not a place that an individual wants to be because on top of everything else, if one's seeking a waiver, now their credibility has been challenged, uh, not even challenged, it's, it's, it's basically been impeached. And as a result, the, the, the issues associated with the waiver can be somewhat exacerbated. So basically what I'm trying to say with respect to this is, Interview preparation is important. One of the things I want to be clear with my clients, and I'm, and I'm hoping that they are very, that they come away from our interview preparation with, is a sense of comfort, a sense of knowing how the protocols are going to work, a sense of being able to go in and explain oneself coherently and be able to deal with the consular officer in such a way that the case processes in an efficient manner in order for the visa to be presumably issued to get to the United States, because that's the goal at the end of the day. Again, it's not an exercise of being coached to say a certain thing. No, it's an exercise of concisely and honestly explaining one's intentions and one's history in order to be issued a visa to the United States. We hope you found this video insightful. For those of you who are interested, we're trying to make videos to provide up-to-date information as soon as this information comes out. And for that reason, it may be a good idea to go ahead and click the bell button the bell icon below to go ahead and be updated as these videos come out as you can go ahead and be apprised of the legal situation as it evolves.